Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of IELTS Writing Task 2. Today we are going to discuss a topic which came this year in April on the 14th. The topic is in today's world of advanced science and technology, in today's world of advanced science and technology, we still value our artists such as musicians, painters and writers. What can art tell us about life that science and technology cannot? So as you might already realize, this is a tricky question because um, science and technology is changing the modern world and we know most of the knowledge that we get nowadays is from science and technology. However, artists, writers and musicians, they are also valued greatly in the society. So let's see how to write an effective essay about this topic. Alright, so I'll start off with the introduction. In this modern era of continual scientific and technological advancement, now this is a particular uh, group of words which give specific meaning to what I'm trying to say. It's like this advancement is ongoing and it continues on. So, um, in this modern era of continual scientific and technological advancement, artists are still gaining a lot of respect from people the world over, the people all over the world. All right. There are a number of things about life that arts can teach us that the science and technology fail to. So uh, this is a very brief paragraph and I've mentioned the two main ideas. One is arts can teach us something and science and technology fails to do some things. All right. So let's start off with the first body paragraph. Many forms of art, especially literature, can deliver messages about the appreciation of what we have in life as well as life itself. So, especially, uh, I guess, if you are a person who has read literature, you understand that it reflects human thought, it reflects society. So, it's things that we cannot see that is mostly reflected in the literature, and uh, mostly it does not belong to all the, you know, the technological proofs or the mathematical proofs that science gives us. It's more about the subjective matters. So, hundreds of Hundreds of literary work depict misery, misfortune and sorrow still exist in life today. And this sends a strong message to those who do not appreciate their lives. So many people might have a reasonable amount of money, but they do not necessarily appreciate what they have. The Goldfinch, for example, which narrates a story about the miserable life of the main character after the unfortunate death of his mother, makes us wonder whether we have become heartless towards our own loved ones. I doubt that there are any technologies in the world that could manage to convey such a powerful message. Let's move on to the second paragraph. Arts teach us to cherish the beauty of the culture and is the fuel for our spiritual lives. So basically this paragraph starts with a brilliant topic sentence which gives the main idea of the paragraphs that it is to cherish or to, to appreciate or to enjoy the true beauty of culture and it serves as the spirit, it serves as the fuel to our spiritual inner selves. This is extremely important in a world where science and technology seem to fade our belief in the gravity of culture in daily life. So here is a collocation of views in the gravity of culture in daily life. This means in, in the strong uh, pull of the culture in our daily lives. Gravity means something that is pulling you towards something and strong pull of culture in our daily lives. The connection between art and culture is boundless. So the connection is always there between arts and culture and the traditional music and ancient paintings can remind us where we came from and who we are. That is to say our cultural identity is preserved in various forms of art. So again, um, really well-structured paragraphs uh, focusing on the main idea that it is to cherish culture and to bring out our inner spiritual selves. So to conclude, although science and technology advance our understanding of all things and better our lives, arts can touch us to a much deeper extent. So this is true. Although science and technology do advance our understanding of all things, and improve our lives, but arts actually touch us to a deeper extent. It helps us value what we have and 
reminds us of the significance of our culture. So you write a simple IELTS essay and you're most likely to get an 8 or above if you write an essay like this without many grammatical mistakes and using a wide variety of uh, vocabulary. But remember that most important is that you understand the purpose of the essay, you write according to the topic and you have two or three main ideas that you discuss in your body paragraph so that your main ideas can be well developed.